guys, it's Pragma. Today we are going to be talking about one of, if not the most important question in not just playing video, but any MMO, how to pick your main. I made a video recently on how to tag characters in video and shortly after considered entirely switching my main, something I never thought I would do. I've never been someone that's invested much time into odds on any MMO, especially with the tagging system in video. What makes you really decide how your main is your main? So I thought long and hard about this, got some awesome insight from some friends, and finally came up with a few great tips. Let's get started. Now the first question I really realized was glaring at me was how much do you care about meta? Now this is an important question because one, meta can change anytime and two, it can completely dictate what your main is. Meta is constantly changing in MMOs, especially in BDO. What we mean are classes that are sought after because without fail, those classes are uncontestedly exceptional at what they do. Almost any class you pick can be extremely amazing if you invest time in it. You can compete with some of these other classes and there are always exceptions. It's just going to take you a lot longer and a lot more dedication. So by no means am I saying you can't play the class you like if you want to get into the meta eventually. I'm just saying it could take a very long time to get the skill and gear you need to compete with those classes. Meta isn't about playing something you like. It's about liking playing the meta and that's totally fine. There's a big tendency for players to make fun of players that jump on the latest meta class bandwagon just because it's meta what people say. If you have fun chasing becoming the best of the best, then go do that. The haters and have fun your way. Decide first what you really want to do in the game and what role you want to play. The second tip I have is to pick a weapon you like or role that you enjoy. This is important because weapons are a huge part of the game. Pick a weapon or style you think is cool because you're going to be using them a lot. Whether it's two axes or two badass swords, maybe a sick and shield or a badass whatever this is or do you just want to fight with your fists and look like a freaking badass maybe you want a big pet and a badass sword maybe you just want a badass staff and cast some badass spells having a badass weapon that you like and having some badass skills that you have fun with is definitely one of the most important decisions you can make next think about the role that you want to play do you want to be able to heal your teammates and cast some badass buffs and heal them like crazy and just be an awesome tank or do you want to be a glass cannon and cast some massive damage. Maybe you like to fly or teleport. Do you prefer magic damage? Range? Melee? Maybe you want to cast some awesome fireballs from the mother sky! My next tip is look at the costumes and the style of those costumes. Again, you're going to be looking at your class a lot. You want to make sure that you have some cool outfits for your character. But rather than looking through at a couple different costumes for your possible main, look more so at the style of those costumes. There's always going to be new costumes, but for the most part, every class kind of has a trend or style with it. For example, Shai's outfits are all pretty cutesy. Berserker's outfits are all super armory and, well, super badassery. And witch outfits, for example, are a bit more modest than some other classes and rangers kind of have this mix in the middle of armor and super skanky i mean for goodness sakes why do you think i played ranger of course every class is different but for the most part there seems to be a particular style for each character there's always exceptions for each class of course but for the most part every class seems to have its own theme the last most important tip i have is to ask yourself how much fun are you having sometimes we get so bogged down with what is the absolute best possible way of doing everything that we forget a game is just meant to have fun. This may sound kind of crazy, but really that's what it comes down to. I dedicated a lot of time to my ranger, but recently I realized there's some things that I want to do in the game that a ranger just isn't the best at, but that's how it is for every single class. You're going to be really good at something and then really bad at something else. Ranger is really good at A, B, and C, but really bad at D, E, and F. I decided to switch my main to Shaib because even though they are really bad at A, B, and C, they're really good at D, E, and F. And in every single class you pick, you're going to be good at a couple things and really bad at a couple other things. Think about the specific things you want to do. If you want to be good at A, B, and C, just know you might not be good at D, E, and F. And if you want to be good at D, E, and F, know that you might not be good at A, B, and C. Ultimately, I realized in the end, as much as I loved Ranger, I wanted to do D, E, and F. You can have fun on any class in the game, but chances are there's some sort of specific niche or role that you enjoy out of the game the most. Figure out what the A, B, and C is that you want to do 
and figure out what the D, E, and F is that you won't be able to do as well. Now, if it's X, Y, and Z you want to do, but you think you want to test out A, B, and C, but you also want to be good at D, E, and F, but you used to enjoy Elemental P, well, then just remember you can always switch later and pick a class with a nice looking ass. No, but really, this brings us to the last point, not worrying about regret. One of the biggest hindrances to prolonging actually switching my main was being so terrified that I would regret all the time I had spent on my ranger. I literally refused to play some of these other classes that I was interested in because I was terrified of that. I didn't want to lose all that time and money and effort. But what's funny is I don't even care about any of that stuff anymore because guess what? And this doesn't go for just MMOs but life in general I guess. Being afraid of regretting something in the future like picking the wrong main can paralyze you from making any sort of decision at all. I thought I would regret so much of what I had gained on my ranger when really all this silver gear, experience, knowledge, and all that fun I had applied to my Shai. The best thing about MMORPGs is that even if you play a character you eventually don't like or want to change for any reason, you're going to accumulate value that transfers over to a different character that you may prefer later. Whether this is general knowledge on how to fight the class you end up leaving, or silver, or gear, you will start off on that new main you end up choosing with a huge boost. Just like in real life, you don't really lose anything regardless of the choices you make. Except for maybe that time I spent my whole tax refund on comic books. I probably shouldn't have done that. So just don't be afraid to regret anything and go have fun. After all, if you're not enjoying yourself, what's the point? There's a quote by Bertrand Russell that says, the time you enjoy wasting is not wasted. So really the only time you're actually wasting is the time you're worried about wasting your time. So go have fun guys. Don't forget you can always tag a character if you really can't decide. I'll link that down below. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button as well. That'd be awesome. Go follow me on twitch.tv slash it's pragma. Let me know down below what you plan on mating and more importantly why. Have a great rest of your day guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and don't forget grind harder baby let's go.